Hi everybody, this is Oscar, creator of OnRead, and in this video I wanted to take you through all the steps you need to follow in order to use OnRead. So let's just start by launching the app. We can upload image from our phone camera, but this is going to be for another video and from our file system. So let's start with that and let's select as many phones as we want. On the left side, you will have all the list of the phones you have uploaded. You can click on each of them and watch the image in the main canvas. Let's start by adding the QR code. And for that, we can just drag and drop the area and resize it to the size we want. We can also on the right side see that it has created a new item and we can change the default value to whatever we want and can type properly now. And let's say it's gonna be called QR. Uh, let's also create an OCR for detecting text and getting recognizing text. And the same as before, drag and drop and resize and we can change the name also to whatever we want, let's say title. And now we can like start seeing how the table, the result table is being constructed. So the table is gonna have on the first column the, the name of the file. And in the next columns, we are gonna have the areas we have created so far. So if you want a different order, you can just come here and drag and drop and put title in the first place. And then you will see that the table is gonna be updated. Let's come back to our main view with this button. And now we can create OMR areas for detecting bubbles. So same as before, drag and drop, resize. And here, uh, phone reads is gonna detect automatically the bubbles that are inside that area. And also it's gonna tell you which one are marked and which one are not. We can change the name of that area too. Let's call it ID, uppercase. And we can also determine if the orientation of that is horizontal or vertical. If the question, if the if each question is displayed horizontally or vertically. So if we put vertical, it's gonna show you the first question. In this case, the first colon. If we display horizontal, it's gonna show, show you also the first question, which is the first row. Uh, we can now. Uh, change the darkness threshold that's to tell you how many pixels do you want for the app to to define if a bubble is marked or not so if we say zero percent it's mean like it, we need zero percent of the pixels to be black in order to pick a bubble as marked so all of the bubble are gonna uh, be shown as marked and if we put 100 percent then it means all the bubbles need to be completely black in order to be pick that smart so a good default value is 40 percent but it depends on your on your image and your quality of your image and a lot of other variables and in here we have a the in this first uh, question example is useful for determining the label that you want this to be in the table so if you come here in the table each of the question is gonna have uh, these uh, different options, zero, one, and, uh, and up to nine. But if you don't want that, you want instead A, B, two, three, uh, so on. So you can, uh, you're gonna have come here and you're gonna have A, B, three, three, and so on. So when you got a, a, the first question, the first bubble mark is gonna be A, and when you get the third bubble mark, you're gonna get the two. Uh, let's leave it last, like the, default, the, the default one. But a good example is here because we are going to now create an OMR area for these multiple choice questions. And we have A, B, C, D options. So in the first question example, we can change it to A, B, C, and D. And now we come to the table and we see that for those type of questions, we have the A, B, C, D. Come back. Let's come back here. And now the cool thing here also is that when you select another form, it is going to automatically detect all the other fields in all the other sheets. And you can do kind of like or check if the tool is doing a good job or not. But let's go back to the table and now we can uh, process all the answers. She's clicking on this gear button and 
is going to start uh, doing in the background all the recognition. It's going to always first finish the OMR, then the QR, and last the, the OCR, because the OCR is the one that uses more of your computer processor. So it's going to always take a little bit more. But now, cool thing is that when you click on each of the area, on each of the cell of this table, it's going to show you down the part of the image that is, is using for displaying that result. So if we go to this uh, specific QR, it's going to show you the QR that it used. The title or the OCR is going to show you the specific uh, uh, text that it, it used and also for the OMR is going to show you the question that it used also. Now here you can do a kind of like a QA, you can do a quality check and maybe uh, if you want like go to specific questions uh, where there's no, where's, uh, there's uh, no uh, question picked by the user or there's a multiple choice, uh, there, there's more than one question picked or there's an error it's gonna take you through all of those specific cells and you can then uh, check what, what is the correct answer so if we click here it's gonna take you to this question which is an error and we can see that maybe the user wanted us to see that is the zero and then we go to the next one and this is a multiple choice selection and then the user wanted us to pick the D we go to the next one, another multiple, the D, we go to the next one, um, a, a white selection uh, uh, and we can select the B because it was not filled properly, same as here and so on. So this is how the tool works. Now we can save this form, but in order to save you have to be subscribed and the advantage of this is that you don't have to do all of this over and over again whenever you need to read this same template so we can save it we wait a little bit sometimes <laughs> but sure enough we got the default loaded if you don't have it just refresh your page and then you're gonna have it we can change that name too we can open that form or, and here we're going to have everything. We just change the name to video test form and video can type properly, save and we refresh and then we got our new form completely uh, new. Uh, there's a couple of other options that are kind of like not more advanced but gives you extra functionalities we can add anchors to to our form so let's delete all these forms that we have all these fields that we have created so far and now we can add anchor objects and this is if you have these specific anchors well aligned you can put this and put this and it's gonna detect all of this anchor and you can process all of your forms and then all of your forms are going to be cropped to that specific point that will help you if your scanner is turning your pages a lot and is, is giving you a lot of movement between uh, different pages you can use this to improve the quality and now if you check here if we start adding a cure now the movement is going to be less so this is going to add well, this is because I <laughs> this is because I, I added the Q, the the QR manually, but let's make an example with the with the text. So yeah, so you can see that the movement between each page is way less, and happens the same with the with the OMR. So here we add this, and then we come to the others. And yeah, the, the difference between each answer sheet is way less. So this is for adding an extra layer of security, but it's not 100% uh, required. You can create your phones without even having anchors on it and it's gonna work perfectly. Uh, so yes, that's it. I hope you enjoyed uh, and
and have a great day. Bye bye.